Hey people, so this is the Phoenix back to do another energy update for the sign of Aries. Just keep in mind these are general readings, they're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Aries. So let's see what is coming through for you guys today. Alright, so the first card out is the Page of Swords. So somebody has been definitely looking at you. Or you have been looking at them. Somebody is curious as to what you're up to and what is happening with you. Because they want to come towards you with a new beginning when it comes to love. They see abundance with you and they definitely want to move forward towards you. This person could possibly be in a third party situation or you could be. But I do see a celebration happening here. This person will come towards you with an offer. It is going to be a small offer, but they definitely want to come towards you. You may not see this coming or it was not illuminated for you or you may not have known that this person had feelings for you at all. Yeah. But I do see someone wanting to take action in this spread. But for me, what is really plaguing my mind is that there are a lot of pages here. So everybody is being really juvenile in this whole situation. You could be um, just wanting to have casual hookups or it is possible that you have to make a choice between two. An air sign, Gemini, Libra or Aquarius or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You guys will know best how this fits into your situation yeah there is a soulmate between these two so for those of you that there is two people that you have to choose from you have to decide who you're going to close yourself off from somebody is definitely holding something very close to their chest it could be you aries it doesn't have to be but it could be you're the one that has to decide between two or somebody does because there is third party presence here. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Nine of swords. Somebody is definitely having sleepless nights. Worrying which one, who to choose, that sort of stuff. But you Aries are standing in your power. So it's possible that you are the one trying to win at all costs. You are the one trying to take initiative in this situation and be the winner off of all of this. Why is this page of swords here, Spirit? Why is this page of swords here? Why is this page of swords here? Alright, so this page of swords is here because somebody is getting impatient. Somebody feels like things will not work out between them and you. It could be you feeling that way. So you've just given up. Whatever is to be will be. That is the energy coming off the cards. So it's like for you, you're no longer focused or you're not pushing yourself too hard. Yeah. You've finally gotten over a lot of regrets from your past. And if this person or if you need to make a choice, you will whenever you're ready. But you feel like this person doesn't love you as much as you love them. This is a good sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So for a lot of you, you're giving up on this person, this earth sign person. And you're going to be moving to the fire sign person. Or this could be you choosing yourself. But you feel like this person doesn't show you love the way you show them love. You want them to be all about you. So you're taking a time out to do some healing of your own. You're doing some reflection on the past. It is the reason why you haven't made a choice yet. Because you're trying to figure out where you are, where you want to go. Before you choose between these two people. Yeah. So, for a lot of you, you're trying to control the situation. 
You do know that one of these people are your soulmate and you're trying to control the situation because you want to have your cake and you want to eat it too. So you want to maintain that <laughs> the relationship between these two people. Could be you, could be the person you're dealing with, but somebody definitely wants their cake and they want to eat it as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It is someone from your past, a past life connection, a soulmate connection for a lot of you. But you are emotionally unfulfilled at this point in time and you're looking for some excitement. Here it is again. You definitely have to make a choice between two people or two situations you find yourself in. Alright, so let's see what else I could find out for you guys. So if you're not the one that have a choice between two, one of the people that you are dealing with does definitely have somebody else. Yeah. You're afraid to invest your time, your intention, and your love into this person. Because you feel like the reason why they, you keep going back to them is because they're doing some type of dark magic on you. Which possibly could be true. So they're trying to control the situation and control you so much that you're not going to leave and neither is the other person. Yeah. You're trying to get over the heartbreak. You're trying to not regret this situation. But whoever this person is, this energy is wanting to be dominating. So it's either you doing this or it's somebody else. But whoever it is, this person wants to be in charge. Yeah, you've been waiting for your ships to come in for a while. But you don't feel like you want reconciliation with this person. So there is a constant war between you and them. Because you don't want to be part of a third party situation. And they want to constantly have you like that. Yeah. So you're at a crossroad right now. You have to choose what it is you want. And living your best life is something that you definitely want to do. So you will be taking action and becoming more of a player-like energy rather than someone that is serious. Yeah. Because you're done with this person breadcrumbing you. You're going to go where your heart is. Because they already left you out in the cold once. You already, you may have already known that the person ha is with somebody else. And it's like you're done playing those games with this person. You just want to move on and move away. But they aren't letting you go so easily. They want to hold on to you. But they also want to hold on to the next person. Alright, so let's see. What what love messages is going to be coming through for Aries today? What love messages? Alright, so we had quite a few. At the bottom of the deck, we have passion and magnet. A magnetic, seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. New beginnings. A new adventure awaits. Embrace it and live your dreams passionately. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you. But your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. Wait. Don't rush it. Allow nature to take its course. Trust. Transformation occurs through acceptance. Once you accept the current situation, it, is, it will automatically change. So you have to decide what is best for you. It is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone instead of placing your focus on another. Now is the time to give to yourself. So Aries, you have to know what it is you want. And you have to know if you are a part of a third party situation. Or if you are the one that wants your cake and eat it. But time will tell all. 